Range Rover and Jaguar are considered the most luxurious vehicle in the world. But many people say that it is quite difficult for common man to buy a vehicle like this because it is very expensive. But if you have a desire to drive a Range Rover and Jaguar one day, I think that's the story of how an Asian company took ownership of this American owned vehicle will give you a great currently do so because right now Range Rover Jaguar products are owned by an Asian company named the Tata Company. How did they do it? What the current in the story behind it? And today we hope to talk about it because it's giving you a great courage. Welcome. In 1991, Pratan Tata became the chairman of the Heritage Tata business. By that time, Tata Motors had become the leading company in India as a leader in the production of heavy vehicles including trucks. But Rattan Tata wanted to take the Tata Motors brand to the passenger car manufacturing industry. As a result, he started manufacturing passenger cars in 1998. As a result of hard work day and night, Rattan Tata was able to release the vehicle called Tata Indica into the market in the same year. Tata Indica is the first modern car produced by an Indian company. It is simply the realization of a dream that Rattan Tata had for many years. But we don't always get the result that we thought of. Hard work does not always bring good results. Unexpectedly, the Rata passenger cars failed in the market. Finally, Rata and Tata thought of sell this passenger car division. The first bid to buy the Tata passenger car service come from the Ford company. Rata and Tata and his team went to the Detroit to discuss the deal. Bill Ford was the Ford president at that time. There, while discussing the deal, some instant statement from Bill Ford did directed to Rata and Tata and his team. There, Bill Ford said, Tata's who have no understanding of making passenger cars, it is a crime to touch a business like this and also, it is a big help to Tata business we give at this difficult time by buying this loss making business to our hands. Rotten Tata and his team come to the hotel where they were staying after enduring the instead of before. That night, Rotten Tata called his colleagues and said that we will not sell our Tata Motors passenger car service at all and we will go back to India. After that, Rotten Tata pays more attention to its passenger car service, thinking about further developing the car. Along with the development of the car, world famous football players like Lionel Messi are used for the promotion of that car. As a result, the Tata car business which was suffering from losses started making profit. It is correct to say that it was the time Rotten Tata was up on the sand began to Spain. The year 2008 is a year when the world economy was in serving crisis. Ford, which used to be a gant in the world auto trade, also had to focus on selling its Jaguar and Land Rover products holdings because it was losing heavily. This time, they have to come to India to meet the heads of company that expressed to interest to buying it. Especially Bill Ford should have to come. Bill Ford, who said that buying Tata car service is help we are doing to you at this time. Now Bill Ford has to tell Rotten Tata that buying our Jaguar and Land Rover products division is big help to Ford company. Rotten Tata had ample opportunity to insult Bill Ford, but he never did. He smiled and suggested that we sign the agreement. Then, after a transaction of nearly 3 billion US dollars, Jaguar and Land Rover, which are product for Ford, will be transfers under the Tata. It is a huge challenge for any businessman to buy a company that is losing money and making it success. But Rotten Tata is not someone who hesitates to take challenging decisions. There is one thing he always says. There is no such thing as right decision in the world. The decisions that have to be made in the world, whether they are right or wrong, are determined by the way we work. After that, the Land Rover and SU type vehicle that we see today are starting to enter the market more and more. This vehicle with extraordinary efficiency developed through research will start to win the eyes and hearts of the world's rich people. They spend 14% of the profit on the development of the research sector. Today, Jaguar and Land Rover have become business worth more than 13 billion euros. Successful businessmen and successful people in the world see their challenges as a blessing to win in their lives. The best answer to give an enemy or someone who insults you is to show yourself success. Rotten Tata has shown us that by eventually taking out the bold Jaguar Land Rover business of Bill Ford, who insulted him under the ownership of the Tata company. If you want to be more courageous, we believe that Rotten Tata's story will be a good example for you. See you again with another wonderful story. Have a victorious day.